Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to show you is, I am going to make this host character slant, uh, rotate according to the slope of the ground. So as you can see here, now this character, the host character is not floating on the ground anymore, his, uh, his rotation is corrected according to the slope of the ground like this and yeah that's what I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me alright let's get back to work so I'll show you how my current horse looks and I have placed these uh, white boxes to demonstrate clearly demonstrate the effect so when I run forward like this as you can see even if I am on a slanted ground my horse is like this he's, uh, he's uh, walking like in a complete horizontal plane and when I am going down, that is also bad. So how can we fix this? So actually, uh, there is something called IK. I am sure you guys have know know that. But in most cases, IK is used only when the character is in a still pose like this. Uh, that's those are the kind of examples I have seen so I'm going to make this character fix the rotation of the character according to the slope of the ground even on the runtime so first I'm going to focus on the runtime right so for that what can I actually do let's see in the skeleton of the horse so here if I rotate this horse from this pelvis bone like this, I can get somewhat a reasonable walk animation according to the slope of the ground. This may not be 100% accurate, but still I think I'm gonna try this and see what happens so just like last time I'm going to do a modify bone this one is for turning so I'll well I can't collapse here so I'll add a comment turn horse I can't collapse this to uh, anything not a function not a macro I don't know why so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to duplicate this node and instead of spine 2 I'm going to modify this horse pelvis and I can connect this like this and similarly I'm going to ignore the translation and scale I'm gonna use only rotation so yeah I'll do add to existing okay now how do we calculate uh, first I need to check which angle I should change so let's figure out that let's add 30 here okay not that one so let's try changing x value yeah right that's the one we should use and 
and all right so how do we create uh, calculate the amount of degrees that we should rotate let's go to the event graph and let me collapse this area so this uh, I'm using this part to calculate side speed and forward speed so I'll collapse them I can either uh, convert them to a function or a macro but for now I'll convert them to a node like this yeah. right where's the output of this one okay so right so to calculate the amount I should rotate I'm gonna do two traces one trace yeah one trace right below uh, right uh, from this horse pelvis and another trace from horse neck line trace by channel maybe be, yeah this should work okay so I need the location of the pelvis get bone can I get the bone location here we can do it like this get mesh and get bone locate get socket location and the name is pelvis now let's first get the neck like this and also I need the location of the pelvis as well right and the start location is here and the end location is mm, this one plus some amount below let's say 300 I see too much oh, let's see and end and let's use the visibility not the visibility channel let's use camera channel well I think I should have a different channel but for now let's use the camera channel and duplicate this one start here and plus 300 and ok so let's Add a debug for one frame. What's wrong? Ah, okay. And I did one mistake. This should be minus 300, not plus 300. And uh, let's check the debug lines to see if everything is we get everything as we expect right so we get the trace lines as you can see here so yeah now we need to find a way to uh, find the amount of degrees that we should rotate using these two line traces how can we do that okay first let's expand them 
and out hit location yeah I'll get the two locations this is the front one right yeah this is the front one and this one returns the back one so then I'll get a direction vector from front line trace hit location to back hit location like this minus and minus and normalize so now we have a direction vector and let's get the rotation of this vector that we get like this get rotation no rotation from x vector right now let's uh, promote this to a variable let's call it uh, source ground slope and connect it finally right so okay so now in here let's use this ground slope and I'll split this because I don't need other I don't need to modify this Y and Z I only need to modify X and here I should connect pitch to the roll because this is the angle that I should change in order to rotate in the way I need and according to the calculation I do here I will get the pitch value similar to the value that I need to change here change here so let's try connecting pitch and compile and I have placed the hose here so that we can see if it is correct in the rotation without climbing on it so okay I think I have done the opposite of what I should have done so yeah we can fix it like this in here I only I only have to change this this one here and this one here now it should work right okay let's climb and let's uh, I have put this print node just to determine what are the values I'm getting so we don't need that anymore and let's test this okay so now the horse is correcting its rotation according to the ground slope and like this Now he is not floating on the ground anymore. Okay. So, but still we have a problem here. And I'm going to address that also in the future. So here, this character, the way this horse stands on the slanted ground is not natural. There should be some kind of a bending of legs, uh, not just rotating is enough and let's do that using i case in future episodes 
So for today I'll stop this here. And yesterday I updated the project files uh, in my Patreon account and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my Patreon club. I'll put the link in the description below. And right, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.